CNBC TV 18 Weekender. Hello and welcome to CNBC TV 18 Weekender for a city known for its fast-paced competition nightlife. This is how Mumbaikas unwind on a weekend. This is a morning fitness party. Remember, fitness as a trend has been growing since 2015, 2016 and has seen a huge build-up coming in for 2017 as well. And as it picks up, you have seen various ways of doing it. From gymming to yoga, Zumba, martial arts, kickboxing, it has taken various ways on how people want to stay fit and not get bored by just doing one regime there. So this is exactly what Mumbai has woken up to on an early weekend morning. We also will tell you on what various people are doing in front of the market makers, celebrities, they're all a part of this morning fitness here. We will get you a statement from there on what they as well keep fit in this fast-paced life here. Just to also tell you that this is a sunrise industry and fitness as an industry has been gaining 20 to 30 percent on an yearly basis and this is the time that government, global players, startups all really seem to be consolidating as we get into 2017. <laughs> On this weekender, we'll get you all the aspects of the fitness industry, starting right from the healthcare, insurance, the way the fitness industry has been evolving, and of course, we'll get you the champions who take all of this fitness stuff forward, right from nutrition to working out, various ways of working out, and wearables and eatables as well. But let's start with the other Tibirla people. First of all, thank you so much for joining us. What is your sense on how has the industry evolved in the last couple of years? No, I see uh, a significant, uh, you know, attraction in this industry and, uh, you know, whether you see people just going out and walking or people running or cycling, you know, I cycle myself, I run and, and you know, sometimes we miss the plot by looking at percentages in a, you know, country with such a large population, but you look at absolute number of people who are running or, you know, doing all kind of fitness stuff. I think it's really amazing and I'm glad that this is picking up. Obviously, we want much more to happen, sure. but I'm, sh I'm, I'm very sure that this trend is, is there to stay. And, uh, you know, you look at the number of marathons that are happening in oh, Mumbai yeah. every month. I mean, right? I mean, every virtually every second day there's a marathon somewhere in the uh, city. So it's a very good trend, uh, but we need to do more to facilitate this process. We want to make it easier and simpler for, you know, people to get into this uh, and, and create more convenience. Mm -hmm. Do you think it really is about preventive moves when it comes to fitness than cure? That is what really is catching up now? No, absolutely. I mean, it's all about, see, ultimately, um, look at my industry. I mean, I come from health insurance industry and we've generally played a role where if people get into, you know, curative care situation in, in hospitals, we come up with our, you know, funding offering. But my point is that why can't we play a more proactive role and get into preventive and, you know, promotive health care? And there is where, you know, finding ways to make it more easy for con con consumers to get access to better quality fitness and health facility and in, in fact go one step ahead even reward and you know incentivize them for taking the right steps for their own health so what has been your sense what is the age group that's getting into this industry what we understand is the, that the people who are paying in or are spending here is between 20 to 40 is that the age group that you're looking at yeah typically that's what i see Obviously, from a from a category perspective, 20 may not be the right target population. But the good thing is, if you get in younger, if you get in early, then you're there to stay, right? I mean, so you know, obviously, people get into this for different reasons. I mean, the younger crowd will get into probably look more healthy and look more fit, whereas the crowd beyond 35 starts getting into it more to kind of stay more healthy and you know feel more fit. The, the motivations can be different, but ultimately, the important thing is. Are you getting the right health outcomes out of it? Sure. So what is Adit Sibyl are doing into this and how much are you foraying into this sector? So our foray is into the health insurance space and uh, you know the, the role that we want to play is you know, drive consumers to take charge of their health. You know when, when we did our own research whilst people want to stay healthy but how many of them were really converting that intent into action is what it is. Some, they want to seriously do something about them. If you ask them, do you want to stay healthy? Yes. Are you doing something seriously? Well, it's a January resolution of mine. Are we, are we, am I continuing is that? So what we are doing is, we are saying as a health insurance company, we'll play a much more proactive role in this whole process. So, you know, our products are designed around that. That where we create convenience for consumers to get access and we reward them. For example, one of our flagship product, Active Health, it gives 30% of the premium back to consumers if they stay healthy. And not at the end of the year, but every month. So 2.5% every month. 
so it is like a you know instant mode you know gratification of doing something good and it's all digital it's app based using the power of wearables and technology you can know what people are doing and so it's it's a and, and the start is very encouraging people are really very happy to see an insurance company coming forward and you know doing something about their health hmm. you know coming on the online app as you mentioned because uh, when an area is uh, you know opening up it really is exploding nowadays because it's online it's offline there is app there are people approaching in various ways what is your sense on how much is this business online and offline see fitness cannot be a uh, only an online thing right it's a, it's you know it, you have to be it's in, in in person thing but what can app can do is help you you know uh, make the engagement process with consumers a lot more uh, possible so i mean again giving my example of of our company if we were to do a physical engagement with consumers and what they are doing very difficult because it's not scalable but right now because of the app we know exactly what our consumers are doing and when they give you access to what are they doing physically then you suddenly start engaging with them on 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 a reg every day basis so it's a combination of an online and an offline world i mean omni channel as they say and that's where the digital world creates more convenience it creates convenience with, for the consumers at when they need it and you know the way they want it and for providers like us to be able to engage with consumers lot lot more uh, wholesomely than what we were earlier so what are your future plans when it comes to uh, healthcare and insurance going forward you know so we we will want to uh, offer more and more products so we are now looking at getting into the next phase by looking at more wellness programs wherein you know we can get you know get more and more consumers into the whole of that. we are tying with lots of uh, players like you know, creating a whole we have in, uh, tied up with players like kalwalkar and others to create a gym infrastructure so we are already created a gym infrastructure network for our, pa- for our consumers you are part of this morning fitness party as yeah, well yeah exactly so the whole idea is find ways of making it convenient for consumers that's the whole idea thank you so much we look forward to more fitness parties like that thank, like you. thank you so much CNBC TV 18 Weekender.